All right, guys, this is Norval Central coming back at you with a YouTube video. And at this time of the recording, I have about 2,050 subscribers, so I really appreciate all the love and support. Be sure to hit the like button. Let's try to get this video up to 70 likes today. Comment your thoughts on what you think about the video when I discuss the topic. And also subscribe to the channel. It is completely free. Um, it no, no clicks, no, no money involved or anything like that. So uh, just be feel free to click the subscribe button, and I will definitely try to post out as much Florida State content as I can. But let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about four-star receiver TJ Abrams. And this is a guy from the Fort Myers area that Florida State really, really likes. He visited this past weekend, and there's been a lot of good interest there. Um, the main thing I wanted to make this video today for was this morning, he actually released a tweet that talked about the 26, had the eyeball emojis. You know how the eyeball emojis are with some of these younger prospects. Uh, it means something exciting is coming to happen now. Could it be a top five list? Could it be a top three? Could it be a commitment? Uh, the only visit that he has had since he's made a top eight list, which included Florida State, LSU, South Carolina, Tennessee, Vandy, Florida A&M, Penn State, and also Texas A&M as well. Those are the eight schools that he is involved with. Since he made that list about a week ago, the only school that he's been to is Florida State. Florida State really shows an interest that they really like him. I, I think that this is a situation where Florida State can really get involved here in terms of that. He really liked the visit from his time there, speaking with some of their media outlets that were up there. Um, he's 5'11", 178 pounds, and Florida State's already got Camden Fryer that's already committed to the program, a four-star receiver. And we're going to have to kind of see how many guys they're going to actually take. I mean – They've already had a report out there from Chad Simmons with On3. He talks about that Florida State is still in communications with Ohio State five-star receiver commit Jeremiah Smith. And he is a guy that is teammates, former teammates with Edwin Joseph, who uh, goes to Chaminade. And I think that's an important aspect because if you're wanting to get higher talented and highly talented prospects to come in and be a part of your program, I think that's very important going forward there. You got a guy like Chance Robinson, who is a, a St. Thomas Aquinas guy, and that could be a, a Conrad Hussey situation where some of these recruits that you've been bringing in can be a situation there. James Madison II is also another Thomas Aquinas guy. So we're going to have to see with a couple of those guys, can you be able to kind of step up and get some of those into the fold? I think that's very important with everything going on there. Florida State wants to establish the South Georgia and also Florida area to be able to get some of these highly talented playmakers. Now, granted, you don't really want to put all your eggs in one basket because something may open up later on in the recruitment process, but you need to get guys into the program, into the fold, and go ahead and have some excitement within the program. But at the same time, you have to really be mindful that you're not taking guys just to take bodies at this point. You have to make sure that they are the right fit at Florida State. And right now, Abrams is a 90 composite as of right now out of Dunbar High School. I think this is a guy that Florida State has been on for quite some time at this point. I do view him as a slot receiver. We'll kind of see how everything plays out with that just because of where he is. But you also have to remember Cameron Fryer is also going to be another slot receiver. He's 5'11 and a half, 175 pounds. So really, when you look at both of those guys, you have to have more outside receivers, some taller guys that are going to have to step up in terms of that. James Madison II can be a guy that you can think about. He's 6'3", 170 pounds, I think, can really be a guy that can step up. Chance Robinson's also a pretty good possession wide receiver. He can play a little bit more in the slot as well. He's 6'1 and a half, 190 pounds. I think that could be a guy that you can go for. And then Jeremiah Smith with his 6'3 frame, I think can also be another guy that's being outside receiver. So we'll definitely see if maybe they take two slot guys and then turn around and have an outside receiver as well just to have some versatility. But I'm hoping that Hakeem Williams kind of develops this season and that way they can have some alternate bodies to go through because what if Johnny Wilson leaves? What if Michael Pittman has a great year? I mean, there's a lot of options there that you can think about at the wide receiver position that need to kind of happen there. But – I'm super excited to see how Ron Dugans and this coaching staff kind of develop their wide receivers, specifically in the 24 class. And I'm super excited to see how the 24 class in general plays out the rest of the season, because I think Florida State is going to have a fantastic year this year. But I really appreciate all the love and support that you all show me. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate showing my Instagram account some love, my Twitter account. I also have those linked at the very bottom of the description as well. And I really appreciate all the love and support again. And as always, go Gnomes.